Happy Monday. This is what we're doing for work today. Getting ready <laughs> to do a podcast. Okay. Woo! I'm going to be wearing what Faith is wearing now. That's so comfortable. It's yeah. Comfortable. <laughs> what are your guys' guesses? May 4th. May 4th, that's right. Um, mm, you two? No, April. I think she's coming earlier. I think she's going to be I here. feel like either the 28th or the 30th, somewhere in there. I feel like the 30th. That's Or yeah. if she goes longer, I think the 2nd. I don't okay, that's my guess, too. I put yeah. May 2nd on the calendar, and Nyx is the 28th. Oh, I don't think she's okay. going to stay in there any longer. <laughs> and she's due the 8th, right? Yes, but she's measuring two weeks ahead. Yeah. Okay, so I'm still sticking to May 4th. Okay. We're going to have daughters with the same birthday. I like that. I promise. <laughs> I yeah, love that. It's going to happen. I'm into that. Okay. Maybe I'll get some free babysitting. <laughs> I mean, obviously. I'm waiting for Brooklyn to... Hey, to Skylar's l- mine. You, haven't, uh, you hey. haven't left him or with him yet. Her, him, with her She's yet. been in school. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. She can't uh, wait. Yeah. Now, summertime. She's obsessed with him. Free babysitters. Summertime. Always I good. I am about to purchase this for Nick. I can't do this right now while I'm pregnant, but I have done one of these food sensitivity test things, um, but it was only food sensitivities. This one also has um, mineral analysis, so it tells you everything in there, your vitamin levels, your gut health, your digestion, and they do this based on you sending like some hair to them. So my stepmom has done this, and my mom has done this and it's pretty crazy. I'll show you what my mom sent me. Let me pull it up real quick. This is what she sent me. So this shows like, like red is like things that your body and your system is not down with. And not that you can't ever have these again, but you have to reintroduce them. So anyways, I'm purchasing this for Nick. I did this a long time ago with like Everly Well or something, which I do love Everly Well. However, this is way cheaper and it, actually has a lot more stuff included so uh check my body health if you would like to sponsor me sometime soon i need to do this when i'm not pregnant anymore but i'm gonna go ahead and buy this for nick right now he has a lot of gut issues and digestion issues both of us do so i think this is gonna be pretty rad to see what he is sensitive to apparently um my dad and my stepmom have done this and they uh have both been kind of changing their diet based on what this says because my dad has a lot of like acid reflux and stuff. Um, it's so sad to watch your parents age, isn't it? Like I swear my dad is like, seems so much older now than he did like four years ago even. It's just sad to see. Um, it's what happens though, it's life, right? But uh, they've actually like fixed and like made so many of his symptoms like and just shit he was going through so much better with this test. So I'm very excited to have Nick do this because Nick has always had like digestion and gut health issues. And this will be really good to just kind of know where he stands with everything and like what we need to stay away from and just to like help it get better. So anyways, I thought I would share it because I know that you guys were very interested in my testosterone journey and all that. And we'll get back to that once I'm not breastfeeding and not pregnant anymore. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm definitely into this more naturopathic way of taking care of your body and stuff. So um, I wanted to share this with you guys, but I will link it for you guys in the description box below. I did find an affiliate link. So even if they don't sponsor me, at least I can get a couple bucks on the side. <laughs> I'm drinking a protein shake. These Alani New protein shakes are the bomb. No, this is not sponsored by them, but I wish it were. Um, they send me so much good stuff in the mail though. Um, it's close to 2 p.m. I was hoping to have a full face of makeup on by this point so I could get some filming stuff done. However, uh, I've been farting around and doing a bunch of other stuff this morning. I need to call the Tennessee Revenue something, something, something. The check that they sent me last year, it's been a whole thing. Haven't been able to cash it. And it's like $23,000. I'm like, I could really use that right now. Um, so I'm actually, we were supposed to go down to the birth center today to, um, to have our appointment, but we are unable to get down there today. We just have too much going on. And um, honestly, it can all be done over Zoom, what we usually do in these appointments. So uh, we are lucky enough to be able to Zoom the appointment. So Nick will probably be here like right at two. So I got to log in in a few minutes here. Hi, pretty girl. This room has still not had any more changes since you guys saw that last time really uh, in the last vlog. 
So I want to finish this up today. And anyways, I got some stuff on my to-do list. So I'm trying to drink more protein. I did just get my results back for my preeclampsia testing and my GBS, which is like, you have to like swab your perineum area and like up in your vag and see if you have any bacteria that you need to be treated for or have an IV drip for or like antibiotics for when your baby comes because they can get very sick from it. And I'm negative for everything. Um, no preeclampsia stuff. Uh, blood pressure is good. Um, it's a little higher than it used to be, but I am also nine months pregnant. So it's so crazy to say that. <laughs> so that's uh, kind of what's going on. So I'm going to log on here in a minute. My avocado trees look like they're fucking dying this morning. It's been really hot. I guess I wasn't giving them enough water. I know they need a lot of water, but they told me just up the street that they need water heavily once every 10 days. And it has only been like four days since I watered them. And they were like crispy critters this morning. <laughs> and so I watered them and they look like they've perked back up. So I'm looking at, looking at them right now. So looking pretty good. All right, let's get on this call. Yesterday, I did not use this camera at all. <laughs> um, I did just go to Carter's today and get some cute stuff for the baby. So I wanna show you guys. Got this little guy. Little shorts are like super cute. Um, this, I love the little things with the butt, like something on the butt, super cute. I'll link all of these for you guys below if I can find them. And then I guess we had a little bit of a theme going on. This was like too cute to pass up. A little watermelon. And uh, let's see. This is like a little onesie. So cute. This one is for three months, but we need clothes for her then or else she'll go naked, so. It's real cute. It's got little cherries on it. I want a matching one, actually. And then she got a 4th of July outfit, and Nick just brought it to my attention that this is probably not going to fit her. Um, it's got little straps in the back. Super cute. And then I got these little guys. But I can exchange this. I started an account with Carter's. <laughs> so I can exchange this and get like a size up if I need to. But she had to be it's festive. Kind of stretchy. Like, I feel like it might work. Um, yeah. It's just a bathing just... suit. It's a little tight. It's cool though. I couldn't find a bathing suit because we're going to the river pretty quickly after she's born. Um, but I couldn't find a damn bathing suit for her, like a newborn. So I'm gonna have to look on Amazon. Um, I got some really cute stuff at Tilly's as well. I'll show you a couple things. I got a lot of stuff though. So, and most important thing that I got from Tilly's, <clears throat> these. Nick hates Birkenstocks, but I had to get these because Jenna bought them. I went with Jenna and met her there, but these are like such a cute color. They're super light and my, like, I only have rainbow sandals, so they're not great for the river because they're not really supposed to get wet. So I got these and you bet your ass I'm gonna be walking around in some really ugly ass water shoes. Like call me old as fuck, but we're wearing water shoes. <laughs> got a couple dresses that are like forgiving in the stomach area because this will be pretty quickly after I give birth and I definitely don't want anything too tight on my stomach area. So I got that guy and then this one, I really like the burnt orange color. I don't usually wear makeup at the river, but when I wear this not at the river, I wanna do like a really nice like 50 fucking dollars. I paid $50 for this? For that dress? Yeah. I could get this on Boohoo for like $12. Um, I might need to return this. Uh, that price tag's a little too high for what this is. <laughs> These shorts I actually bought in this color because I already have these here at home in black and I love them. And so does Nick. He was like, oh, those shorts that you wear are really cute. There's nothing left by these. Um, and I got this color too. And I got them to go with, um, I got a couple like, like little, not little, they're like oversized, like cute, like billabong ones. And I got these in a size, extra small because they're super wide my goal with these types of shirts is to be able to wear them like this and like tuck the top in or not with like leggings and have them be like just extra big and have them be cute but still small enough where i could tie it up like under well not under my belly but just like tie it up in the middle where it doesn't look like 
too big to be able to do that. Does that make sense? This one is so freaking soft. I thought it was super cute. I like all these like old school looking kind of like billabong t-shirts. Um, I got a bunch of, I got, what is this one that I got? This one is um, another billabong. This is an extra small too. It's just like super wide. This one's really, really soft as well. I got some like, Jenna talked me into these. I got this one in, it's like a sports bra kind of a thing, but like super soft. Oh, you found it, thank you. Um, I thought I might use that for the filming little desk. Jenna gave me a chair. And then this pink one, these are like colors that I would literally never buy. I am kind of like a gray, beige, black, like I don't wear like pink shirts and stuff. So this is definitely out of my comfort zone. So I don't know what to do with this. She said she's gonna dress me after I have the baby though. Somebody in Tilly's that works there was telling me, um, she's like, have you used these before? It's like a really cute, it's got the double straps in the back. She was like, have you worn these before? Not used them. <laughs> have you worn these before? Uh, Cause she, obviously she saw that I was pregnant. She's like, this is like really like, in other words, she basically said, you can whip your tit out of these really easy to breastfeed. So that's pretty cool. Again, went out of my comfort zone with this one. I don't know if it matches the neck enough, but um, a little blue one. And Jenna was like, oh, you can wear these with like high-waisted pants. I'm like, I have like never worn such a tiny top with anything unless it was a bathing suit. So it's definitely something new for me to wear like a crop top kind of a thing with like high-waisted pants. I usually am always very uncomfortable about like my stomach showing. So we'll see, we'll see, but maybe I'll get back to it somewhat quickly we'll see then i got nick some really cute stuff that doesn't fit him <laughs> so we're gonna have to return it but um oh what i got some stuff at ulta and if you were watching my stories last week last friday today um you saw this some of the stuff but check out what i got so i have never heard of this brand called monday loved their packaging very simple easy to read this one says moisture i'm for dry damaged hair Simple, I love it, it's just on the front. No funky names, you know exactly what it is, what it does. They didn't have the conditioner for volume, so I got the volume shampoo, which says I'm for thin and lifeless hair, that's me. And then I got the conditioner for damaged hair. I pretty much only condition my ends anyway, so I'm gonna try these. I'd never heard of this brand. Have you guys heard of this brand before? I don't know if it's any good, we'll see though. Um, it's SLS free, I don't even know what SLS is paraben free and cruelty free. So pretty rad. I did buy stuff from a place called Monday Swimwear, I think, but it definitely wasn't that. Also, <clears throat> IGK first class uh, charcoal dry shampoo. This is my ride or die dry shampoo. I have never found anyone that works better than this. So bought another thing of this. This is expensive, it's $32. I have actually never purchased from IGK. They've always sent me stuff. And I don't know, recently they just don't talk to me or send me anything. So it's fine. I bought it. But um, uh, <clears throat> then I got some nude lip liners. They did not have my nude suede shoes from NYX in there. So I didn't get that. So this one is called Flesh by LA Girl. It's a pretty gross name, if I do say so myself. And then Cafe from LA Girl. And then I got nude pink. And I think I have this, more of this somewhere, but I'm not really sure where. So I just got some good nudes. I was looking for nude suede shoes and sugar glass. Um, lip liners by NYX, couldn't find them. So I sent them a message and I was like, do you still make this? Because <laughs> I am screwed if you don't. Cause that like nude suede shoes is like my all time favorite lip liner. I think we're gonna go, we we're gonna go out to dinner tonight, but I just got back and my feet are super swollen. I wanna put them up. So I think we're just gonna go to the local taco shop up here and go grab some food and bring it back and like watch a movie. Nick is going to work tomorrow. Um, I am getting my dishwasher replaced. I hate this dishwasher. I think I kinda like told you guys about that. So um, I'm getting that replaced tomorrow. I'm very excited. This is also from the baby shower in for her room when she has one. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna put this pot in my office possibly for another filming space. Okay, so I think, I think he's making a baby mobile with these. And some of our Mexican, we got some little like Mexican um, little stuffed animal things, like little ones. Um, 
that hang on doors or like whatever and I think he's gonna make a baby mogul out of this it's like really cool wood that he picked out not for Piper to chew on no no Today has been full of watching TV, making lists, putting my feet up, and I need to do all of these dishes because our new dishwasher that I got, I replaced the other one, is not hooked up yet. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna put some makeup brushes away and just do some editing. But I feel like this past week has been a little bit randomer than usual and just kind of like haven't really had <laughs> my mind in the vlog world so hopefully it wasn't too boring but if it was sorry about that oh i have no idea when this baby is coming so it's been just a little crazy i really wanted to film some videos today but i just got a really late start i let myself sleep in i keep getting told get as much sleep as you possibly can so that's kind of what i've been doing and i honestly just i don't know and then i was like oh it's like four o'clock sun setting soon like i'll have to do my hair, put makeup on, and then film. So I'm rearranging my office right now. I'll show you guys what it looks like before we sign off. So, <laughs> it's so messy in here right now still. But at least I moved my computers over there. I connected those two tables. Um, Nick also put this other one together for me. I bought two of the same one because I like it so much. I need to organize this desk today. And then over here, I need to get these out of here and put them in the garage. And then I think I'm gonna put that pink couch that I had at my baby shower there, replace that picture. And just overall, I'm just gonna organize this a little bit better, but I'm pretty stoked to have like all that over there. Um, so slowly but surely coming together. Thanks for watching guys. We will see you later. Bye.